On today's adventure, we're off the east coast of Australia on the world's largest island made completely out of sand. Its massive dunes are taller than the Sydney Opera House and could fill Crater Lake six times over. Fraser Island isn't just a big sandbox though. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's as beautiful as it is unique. Home to dingoes, shipwrecks, and the world's only known rainforest growing out of sand. In order to stay on track with the rest of our Australian adventure, we only have one day to explore as much of it as possible. Good morning and welcome back to Australia. When you last saw us, we were probably somewhere west of Melbourne. And today, we are starting our next road trip in Australia from a very different location with some very different views. We flew into Brisbane, we rented a car, and we drove to Hervey Bay, because today we are going to Fraser Island. I am so excited for this tour. We're actually going on a full day tour, and it's a four-wheel drive bus, so we'll see how that goes. And the rest of this road trip, we are going to be camping most of the time out of this tent because we had to say goodbye to our camper van, Taz. And behind us here, we have our new rental car, which is going to get us all the way up north to Con. Cans? Con? Cans. Can it get us all the way up north? What is it? Cans. 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 Think Cairns, but without the R. Oh, I'm so terrible Cans. at all of these. Cans. But we're taking this car north to Cans to see the Great Barrier Reef. But right now we're only in Hervey Bay, over 1,600 miles from our northern destination in Cairns. Over the next few days, we have some unforgettable Australian adventures planned, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. But that's to come. Today, we need to pack up our tent and get to the boat. The pretty peacock. Oh my God, they're so pretty. To get to Fraser Island, there's really not many options. We had to catch a bus from Hervey Bay to take us to the ferry dock. With all the cars and us loaded, we settled in for our morning ride. Alright, so we have 45 minutes on this ferry to Fraser Island, which is perfect to grab a little bit of snacks, some coffee, and really start our day right. And You'll notice that we didn't actually take our rental car up on the ferry because it is a four-wheel drive only island. We decided to do a tour which actually takes us around the island in a four-wheel drive bus. There is a ton of other people where we're going to get to learn a lot about the island in a short amount of time. This is the look. We're going to Fraser Island. As we got closer, we were finally beginning to understand the sheer size of this island. Over 75 miles of sand was stretched out right in front of us. Lucky for us, our ride was well equipped for the raw and rugged terrain of the island. So behind us is our 4x4 bus and it is an absolute beast. We just spent about an hour driving across this entire island, which was way bigger than I thought it would be. And we drove through this massive wooded forest, it was very, very cool and pretty bumpy. We're actually heading to the east side now, which means we're going to drive on the beach, so we'll see how this baby does. <laughs> We do more tours where we do not see dingoes, and here we've got one as soon as we get to the beach. Yeah. Dingo babies! It was a completely bizarre feeling to drive a bus straight onto the beach, but we quickly realized that we weren't the only ones here. Everyone was driving down the sand-paved highway at 50 miles an hour. If that wasn't enough, we soon found out our sand highway is also a runway for local planes. We were on the beach stuck in traffic because of a taxiing plane, but we'll come back to that later. Our first stop of the day is right behind me, which is the famous shipwreck here on Fraser Island. This ship has actually been here since 1936. This ship is very special to Fraser Island because it's been used to carry soldiers. It's been used as a war hospital and in many other ways. It crashed here when somebody bought it and then there was a cyclone and it broke and then it crashed and it's been stuck here for a while. You know, whatever, yeah. I knew, I know history. This stop has really highlighted that traveling with a group, while it's less expensive, you do get no place to yourself, and everywhere you go, there is a whole group of people with you. And this might be an obvious thing, 
but for us, we usually travel alone, so this is a very new experience for us. It is deteriorating really, really fast, and you're not allowed to touch it, you're not allowed to go on it. If you come visit, just let it be, let the history rest, and just enjoy it from afar. On to the next one. Our next stop is Eli Creek. Not to be confused with Ellie Creek because it's spelled exactly the same as Ellie's name. It's a freshwater creek that starts from inland where the sand is a lot more saturated with water and it works its way out to the ocean. It's a super popular spot. Tons of people here. So here you can either walk down the boardwalk like we did or if it's not too cold or if you're brave enough, you can walk down the river in your swimsuit. Eli Creek or Ellie Creek? Ellie Creek. Alright, so there's been these airplanes that are landing on the beach and Ellie's birthday is just from the corner. So I'm gonna go tell her that we're gonna go on the plane. Ellie, those planes are pretty crazy, right? Yeah. We're gonna go on one right now. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Happy birthday. Uh, I'm so excited. We love going on planes. <laughs> cool. Alright, and in the back two seats for me, please. Thank you. It's a full flight. We are about to take off from a beach. I've never been on a sky plane before. Wait, oh, what is this called? A Cessna. No, it's like a, oh. a water puddle, puddle a, jumper. A water plane. Is that a water plane? <laughs> what are you talking about? We'll then go inland over these big sand blows and we're going to go and check out Lake Mackenzie before we come back over. One of the really cool benefits about going on a bus for Fraser Island is that you get a free lunch and it's a lot of food, so, you know, dig in. All the meals and transportation to and from the island are included, so you're honestly saving a lot more than just the tour itself. The other option you have for Fraser Island is if you rent a four-wheel drive and drive it to the island yourself and you're going to have to pay for that fare, you're going to have to pay for your own meals and you're probably not going to have enough money to do the flight that we did. So, you know, overall it's been really positive experience for us, but definitely if you have a little bit of money to spare, I would do the four-wheel drive just because it's really hard for us to stay in one location longer than like five minutes. You don't get a say in where you go, how long you stay. And there's a lot of people on the bus, different age ranges, and it's just, it's definitely not as adventurous as we normally like our trips. But overall, a good experience so far. All right, so I left Ellie in the back so I could have a front row view and see what these roads really look like. We'll show you. I cannot stress enough just how bumpy and crazy these roads were. Our driver Hayden was an absolute legend flying through the trees at top speed. That's it. No one could hear. I feel like it's a much bumpier ride up in the front. And just watching the way that he drives, it feels like he's like cruising. Like I would never drive this fast on these roads, let alone with a bus. See, I've been How long have you been driving here? 
15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Is it because you're from the area? Oh, no, I moved here when I got the job. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But that's why they pay him the big bucks. <laughs> We made it to our next stop and riding the front was pretty awesome. Did you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Central Station is really, really interesting because it is the only place in the world where a rainforest grows out of sand. Yes, because this entire island is sand and there is a rainforest here, it had to grow out of the sand. It's really crazy. So Central Station used to be a center for harvesting of the trees in the area and there was several companies that would just basically deforest these areas and sell the wood. But then it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of the uniqueness of it being the only rainforest that can grow in sand. So we're exploring that right now. The water in this creek is so freaking clear and it's so crazy to see the sand like underneath in the riverbed. It's so different than what we usually see. That's why it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I know, it's unique, we like it. <laughs> We were so amazed by the rainforest that we lost track of time and almost lost our group. They're gonna leave us. They're gonna leave us. So we are at our last destination of the day, Lake Mackenzie, and this is actually one of the places that we saw when we were up in the plane. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous, so let's go check it out. This lake is absolutely gorgeous. The sand is just pearl white. The water is so crystal clear. I don't think I've ever seen water this clear. It's just really an incredible lake. So initially wind carved the hole that is now Lake Mackenzie, and then a forest grew where you see the water right now. Many, many years later, that soil from the trees and the roots and everything provided a waterproof layer so that the water can actually stay here without it being absorbed by the sand. Really cool, really beautiful, and I wish I was here in the summertime. And for an island that's made entirely of sand, I am absolutely amazed with how diverse it is. We saw rainforest, we saw of course beaches, and now we're here at such a unique lake. What an amazing time at Fraser Island. Yes, definitely don't underestimate Fraser Island. It's not just sand, even though it is called the Great Sandy National Park. And as the sun starts to go down, we have got a ferry to catch and a very long drive ahead of us. We are continuing our drive up the east coast of Australia. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe and like this video. So, so we'll, we'll see, see you next time on today's, today's adventure. adventure. Bye. Bye.